In the first part of this video, we set up the Flight Simulator Autopilot and track directly to a VOR. In this video, let's track back to the same VOR on a different course. We're currently flying outbound on the 330 degree radial from the Westminster VOR. We will set the Autopilot to maintain our heading but also set the 140 degree course to the VOR. Then we will turn left to intercept by adjusting the heading bug. Once we're established inbound, we will set the autopilot to track the 140 degree course to the VOR. Press heading hold to set the autopilot to fly your current heading. Now you can set the new course for the VOR. Press course select and use the yoke buttons to select the 140 degree course to the VOR. We want to make a left turn for this demonstration. Select Heading Bug and click it to the left. The autopilot starts a left turn. Select an intercept heading of 170 degrees. That's a good intercept angle, taking into account our speed and distance from the station. Don't fly a heading of 140 degrees, we can't intercept the course like that. Fly 170 to intercept. We can see we're slowly getting closer to our new course. The radials are farther apart, this far from the VOR. We're starting to intercept now, so select NAV1 Verify the autopilot intercepts the new course. See the distance counting down to the station. Now let's fly at a higher altitude as we track back to the station. altitude bug and increase the setting to 12,000 to start a climb. It's easy to overshoot the altitude so just click it back the other way. Note the autopilot increases thrust to maintain 200 knots during the climb. and reduces thrust as it nears 12,000 feet. And this is what we've been tracking all along. This is the Westminster VOR as depicted in Flight Simulator. Now for an additional challenge, try this flight again in the clouds. Reload the saved flight. This will put you back on the runway with the radios and autopilot already set. Bring throttles to idle and hold the brakes. In the weather settings, choose user defined weather Customize, and Advanced Weather. Click the Clouds tab and choose Stratus Clouds, 
overcast, with tops at 12,000 feet, and a base of 6,000. Click the visibility tab and choose 20 mile visibility from the surface to 8,000 feet. Click OK three times to return to the airplane. This exercise will work the same as before, but you won't see much outside of the airplane for most of the flight. We showed you a lot of things in this video, so the transcript is posted on our website. You can print it if you want, just click the link in the show notes.